How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Hey, Jack. How about tomorrow we do something? Uh, okay, Pa. See you bright and early, then. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? sleeping in a house. A house we own. Just so goddamn strange. Nice strange or nasty strange? <laughs> nice strange. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. Ugh. 
I've seen enough! You alive? Arthur! You alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are you? Come here! Eagle flies! Drive them back! Arthur! Get up! Thank you! All of you! We need to go! Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone! Let's go! Quick! Any men we see, we must save them! Come on, man! Red man! Come here! Eagle flies! Boys, I got one! I got one! Your fight is over! Just what right have you got to cause all this goddamn trouble? Arthur! Charles! Well, don't thank us. Thank Mrs. Adler. Mrs. Adler? We should get moving. Excuse me. Yeah? Have you seen it? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. Well, I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen it. Strange sort of fella. Sort of formal. Strange, sure. Formal? Nah. Uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You better both get out of here. Jeb! No. Wait. Now, where were we? Where's my friend, buddy? I, I, Come on, speak! He... he... Hey! Hey! No! No, he's, he's in a cabin! Down by Braithwaite Manor! Near the cornfield! Thank you. Charles, come on. Arthur! We need to talk to you! What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ready for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Mean it? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. 
Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Hey, hey you. Come here a minute. What do you need? Oh. Oh. Uh, thanks for stopping, sir. Thank you. Um, Percy Whitsickle, Central Union Railroad Company. What's all this got to do with me? Oh, uh, I just, I think I need someone a little more neutral, a little more persuasive. And, and, and you look like you're, uh, you know, and I got to watch the camp, so could you see what you could sniff out? I'll pay you for your efforts, of course. Yeah, I got it. What exactly is it you want me to do? Find the thief and recover the money. And give him his marching orders. I'm not one for matters of personnel. I got your money. Here. You're gonna need a new junior foreman, though. He just quit. Randall? I don't believe it. Well, that does explain a few things. Thank you for your help, partner. Here, for your trouble. Your colleague here. Thought he was entitled to a bonus. I got your money. Randall? I don't believe it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Thank you for your help, partner. Here. For your trouble. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. <sighs> Safety? Safety and, and meaning? Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! Chelonia. Chelonia. Don't move a Chelonia. goddamn muscle. Chelonia. Chelonia. He has fallen, so we must rise! We, we rise! rise! Ah! <laughs> Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? <coughs> Let's get out of here. Come on. Upstairs. Come on, hurry. You might want to step back a bit. Thank you, friend. Right, give me a gun. <laughs> hey, you. 
Bye now. <laughs> the hell'd you do that for? I'll tell you later. Come on. The hell is wrong with you. Man. <laughs> so much for the new world, the new morality. Saint Denis. <laughs> The same old European triviality, savagery, puritanism. <laughs> if you give him her box, I'll come back and kill you twice. Say your last adieu. Oh, I don't want to die. Please, je suis désolé. I'm sorry. I'll do anything. <laughs> well, you ain't no kind of man at all. <laughs> What I was getting so fixed about. Oh, merci, thank you. Man or not, you'll get a bullet if I see you again. Uh, of course, merci. And merci to you too. A great good deal you did for me. Come on. You got yourself into trouble, got yourself out of it. Oh, maybe, mon ami, maybe. If only the getting out of trouble was as much fun as getting into it. <laughs> Sometimes the getting in ain't so fun either. Oh, then you're getting into the wrong kind of trouble, huh? I, I'm having a silly little show at the gallery. You'll come, huh? We'll see. Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk going down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I clean forgot. Well, don't worry. It's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Yes. But, uh, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. He made us hit the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See, Arthur? Even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. Dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Can't? Not if you want to fit in so well no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? That suit is not fit for the perp. Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Can't? Not if you want to fit in so well no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear. I ain't even gonna ask where you been. Best not. My lord. What have I done to deserve this? <laughs> it's 
So, you're back. Yes, sir. Just taking care of some old business. On behalf of a dead friend of mine. No problem. Get back to work when you can. Oh, hey, Jim. You back. Yeah, I'm back. Where was he? Out. You know. No, not exactly. I don't. Well, don't worry about it too long. Just taking care of some old business a little. All right. I guess he was dead. Me? I'm invincible. I was working. You were not working. You goddamn imbecile. So, you're back, Jim. We were worried. Ah, I'm so sorry, sir. I have some old business concerns, and sometimes that can be a little bit of a distraction. Yeah, I'm sure. A dear friend of mine passed away some years back, and I keep getting caught up in his old business. Oh, the past is a bastard. I've spent my whole life running from it. And that's why we ended up here. <laughs> Women trouble, you know. I can imagine. Uh, if only human beings were different, life would make some kind of sense. Excuse me. I had to write that down. <laughs> Loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Well, how wonderful it is to see you again, pal. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I have a letter for you. A letter? It's not from me, it's from... Uh, from from Bo. Oh, well, was there a gift? He usually sends a little something. No, no gift, just a letter. Okay. Oh, he's so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him, because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are... There's something else. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hi, Arthur. 
Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <sighs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please. <sighs> okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. That was, that was the way, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, it's that fellow Downs. The, uh, do-gooder? Exactly. We lent him quite a sum. It seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just had a lot of honor. I'll go give him a gentle reminder. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish. Leopold? Arthur. You're filthy again, Mr. Morgan. Not now. You should be ashamed of yourself. A grown man covered in shit like this. No. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Some money for your trouble. Well, thank you kindly. Five steeples! Hey, hey! <laughs> you little pair of shits! Let's go! Yeah. That fellow looks angry! Stop, you shit! Bastard got off. You little bastard! I was just playing! Give me my things back. Get off me, mister! I'm a good boy. I wash! Give me my things. Here! Bronte? At home? Where? Uh, big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to Saint Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. Means move! You got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusco. Oh! We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People. Where was 
wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of work. How very upsetting for... Hey, oh. hey, hey, hey! Oh. Leave oh. him, will you? Oh. You're gonna kill him! Hey, 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 How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just standing. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Getting rid of you. Your time wasting, maggot. Get your bag. I don't understand. Just I... get out of my sight. Waste my time, you depress me, and you're a parasite, sending me after losers like that. Yeah, I should do. You're an embarrassment. What are you doing? Be for partners! Yeah. Business partners! Go get a new partner! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was. I was your comrade. My comrade? <laughs> you're a creep. Creep in a parasite, any time waster. Now, take that. Take that! And don't annoy me. I'm leaving. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just standing. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Getting rid of you. Your time wasting, maggot. Get your bag. I don't understand. Just I... get out of my sight. Waste my time, you depress me, and you're a parasite, sending me after losers like that. Yeah, I should do. You're an embarrassment. What are you doing? Be for partners! Yeah. Business partners! Go get a new partner! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was. I was your comrade. My comrade? <laughs> you're a creep. Creep in a parasite, any time waster. Now, take that. Take that! And don't annoy me. I'm leaving. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Keep down and follow me. All right. You should be fine. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well. According to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. 
but you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Well done, sir! Well done! It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy, teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur! exactly according to plan. How did we do? Well, aside from all the shooting and getting shot at, we did fine. Here. Thank you. Well, now, go see Alden from time to time. Let's hope it goes a little smoother next time. We always hope that, Arthur. See you soon! We are scuppered this time. Properly scuppered. The land up ahead got bought out from under us and we can't finish the track. They won't admit it, but I just know this is old Leviticus Cornwall's doing. Hey, you. What are you doing here? This is private property. You're trespassing. Well, the boys at the railroad camp, they don't seem too happy. Looks like you're in their way. We own this land, so they ain't going any further. Oh, uh, you gonna live here all happily ever after, is that it? What's it to you? You can drop the act. Everyone knows you're Cornwall's nursemaid, so why don't you run on home and go wash his fat feet? What the hell did you just say? You better start running, you son of a bitch. Must have got it wrong, then. Apologies, boys. You know what? On second thoughts... Didn't go well, did it? <sighs> One deed to the property. They was very understanding. You got my money. Yes. I was just about to call it a day. Thank you. Me and Mr. Cornwall go way back. Just the man I wanted to see. You may not realize it, but you did us a huge service. Those men you dealt with up there, they was working for Leviticus Cornwall. He bought up the land to try and sabotage us. Well, everyone's happy then, I guess. Wait! I want to thank you. Here. For your trouble. We're still in camp. I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. But they have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. You ain't. Uh, hey, who's uh, talking now, huh? Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. You okay? Sure. 
He only punched me. Arthur did a lot worse to him. All right, then. Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> Do you? My pen name is Leslie DuPont. Sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Uh, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. <sighs> Thank you. Take care now. Bye. John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy and I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in the house. Us too. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I I'm late, but can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope, over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. Excuse me. Hello? Didn't I meet you a long time ago? I don't know. With uh, Arthur? Arthur Morgan? Oh, yes. My name is Rangeful. And I'm Jim Milton. John Marston. Oh. Is Arthur... Uh... He passed away. A long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. He saved my life. He gave his. That doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> and you? I know you had tough times. Ah, uh, well... My people aren't really a tribe. We're just a bunch of families, I suppose. But we're in Canada now. It's, uh... What are you doing here? I... I don't really know. My son, I suppose. Oh, he fell. I, I know. I'm sorry. I've got a son. I'm... Very sorry. Oh, it was a long time ago now. Well, it's good to see you, Mr. Marston. <laughs> and you. Uh, Hello, sir. And who might you be? A caller. John Marston. Uh, years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse. You became friends? 
Oh, yeah, Arthur. Yeah. How is he? Sorry to say, he passed soon after that. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I read about you in his journal. Been calling in on folks. Well, I'm grateful I'm one of them. Uh, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. Arthur caught that. Huh, did he? And he killed that with his hands. That's quite something. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's this? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. I thought I got him! Pursue! I'll grab the mounts! <laughs>